The Bates Haunting is basically a movie set at a haunted hayride exploring the theme of can you get away with murder under the cloak of Halloween. Um, and we started off with the location. Uh, there are three producers, myself, uh, Byron Turk, uh, Gene Louise O'Sullivan, and Cosimo Mariano. Gene and Cosimo were actors in the movie as well. Um, Cosimo works at the Bates Motel in Haunted Hayride and hammered the point home and convinced us to make a movie there. It's this amazing place, an incredible set, and the story pretty much writes itself. There's just so many great sets, so many great characters, and it's like, well, just obviously, what if some of this ended up being real? It's at night in the woods in rural Pennsylvania. You know, what, how could you tell? And if you could, what could you do about it? It seems so obvious to do it. The big question for us was, could we pull it off? Could we do this? We've never made a feature film together before and we just kind of figured we wanted to. So then we did. We ultimately didn't want to take ourselves too seriously. We wanted to make a fun fun ride for people to go on. Um, but we also wanted to deliver on all the scares and all the blood and guts. The whole thing with the fun house. And like pre-production, we're working on scripts and we were revising the scripts all the way throughout. Um, and we watched the fun house during that process. And it was funny that you mentioned that you're like, you're probably um, one of the only people who brought that up, and it was specifically one of the movies that we watched, and it's, those are fun horror movies. We filmed at the Bates Motel on Haunted Hayride, that's what the Haunted Hayride is called, and the owners of the Hayride, the last name is Bates. We really lucked into that, um, and then uh, it had been so many years since Psycho, they never really took, they never locked down Bates Motel, so the Hayride owns it. Hayride copyrighted Bates Motel, they have BatesMotel.com. And then we were originally entitled Welcome to the Bates Motel, um, which we all really love as a name. But it's a little bit wordy, it starts with a W, for, so for video on demand release. When the show Bates Motel came out, we realized we can't have Bates Motel in the title. The entity, the Bates Motel and Haunted Hayride, is possessing everyone involved in the movie in some way. And it's, it's really our, our main villain. We started writing the script at the beginning of 2010. Mm -hmm. We shot that October, and then we had to wait till the next October to do pickups because it's Halloween. And then we finished the movie editing, special effects, all the polishing um, within the next year. It was a little bit difficult because I had to leave town for work. So I was in a different time zone, um, coordinating with you know sound design composer, color grade. We got distribution um, in like August. So we're video on demand pretty much everywhere. We're iTunes, um, Amazon, so we're Amazon streaming and then we'll be selling DVDs. We're also uh, in Redbox, which is huge. We just got on the Fangoria channel on Hulu Plus and then um, the latest bit of news is that we will be in Walmart at the end of January. The New York City uh, Horror Film Festival is the Bates Hauntings um, New York premiere. Um, it's the first time showing it here, and it's been nothing short of amazing. Um, the enthusiasm for horror films and filmmaking here is incredible, and it's been a, a great experience being able to be amongst other filmmakers. And you talk shop, and you see other movies, and it's, it's just, it's a great experience. And the enthusiasm for the genre and for filmmaking is contagious. Excellent. So it's, this has been a very top-notch film festival, and I'm very much looking forward to screening tonight. I'm Byron Turk, the director and producer of the Bates Haunting at the New York City Horror Film Festival. Let the body set the floor. Yeah.